Hi guys and welcome to Airability, your regular dose of lead therapy. And today I'm joined by the Mod 30 4 section silencer from Humor Air. Yes, Humor Air, the world famous air regulator brand that makes air regulators for so many air rifles. You know, we also know that they make external regulators for filling your guns as well as silencers, believe it or not. And um, it's really worth having a look on their website because they've even got air strippers as well. They do, you know, products that you don't usually associate with Humor, the regulator company. It's well worth a look. So as I said, here we are. I've got the Mod, for, Mod 30, sorry, um, four section silencer. And it's about 19 centimeters long. It weighs 130 grams. And at the end, it's about 31 millimeters across, which seems to be a pretty much standard measurement for a silencer. Now, as I said before, this what excites me about this is it's a modular silencer. Now, with modular silencers, I find they're generally more accurate. Um, this is just a personal preference of mine, but it you know it has been backed up by hours and hours of shooting and results. And this is no different. So I'll just take you through the silencer front to back. So this version is the half inch UNF. Other sizes are available. Look on the website. And as you can see here, it's modular. And it all just comes apart really easy. And inside, you have a baffle insert. And um, this is what strips the air, air away from the pellet as it goes down the gun down the silencer and reduces the noise. Um, there's clearly been some next level thinking going on because the first module, the one directly at the end of the barrel, has a slightly different insert and it's asymmetrical. One side is bigger than the other side and that must be for a reason for either accuracy or sound suppression or something but it's nice to see that there's been some further thinking gone on when they designed this. And at the end of all these internal baffle inserts, there's a little rubber ring. And what's that for? Well, that each of the ends of the modules have a little lug, and that fits over it to make sure that it's central always inside the silencer and no um, clipping can, can occur. But when you put your module back on, the last half turn you can feel the rubber ring compress, which means that the insert is rock solid, it won't move, and there's no vibration. So that, for me, is a really nice um, design feature. So moving on, we've got, you know, the other modules are pretty much all the same um, with these inserts with the rubber um, seals on the end. And we get to the end here, and when you take the end cap off, Firstly, I just want to show you the. This is what's in all the other sections. It's symmetrical, the front and the back of the insert. And when you put that back together, put the end cap. I've got one of the original versions of this sound that came out a couple of years ago. And as you can see in this picture, the end cap's smooth, but there's all these little pits drilled into this end cap. Now, there must be a reason for that. And. Um, Again, some next level thinking has gone on when they've made this silencer. So I applaud them for that. So putting this back together, as you can see, it's really easy. And um, once you get it done finger tight, it's not going to come apart because of those rubber seals keeping compression on the inserts to make sure everything's rock solid. Um, just what I will say is that the inserts, the... Um, baffle insert or an upgrade from previous models on uh, the Humor uh, Model 30. This is what used to be in it, the standard. It's a cage, like a lot of other silencers, with wadding wrapped around it. Now these, this works well. First of all, there's no maintenance required with this at all. Secondly, I find these get very, very dirty, especially if you lubricate your pellets. The first section in the module fills with um, lead dust and um, 
oil and I would imagine that that would affect the performance. So it's good to see that they've um, got around that by using these um, inserts that lock into place. Now, I'm a bench rest shooter and it's all about accuracy for me. Sound suppression, yes, I want to be able to shoot in the garden without being um, a nuisance to my neighbours. That is the main point. But without accuracy, that means nothing. Now, I'm shooting the, um, you know, my regular test bed rifle here, the mid-priced Chiapa um, from Ratworks, and I'm using the Falcon T50i on top. So I'm getting some cracking results with this. And um, I could tell instantly if the accuracy were to suffer with um, putting this um, silencer on. Now, it didn't. So, I will say, in my garden, I shoot half the range that I shoot on is undercover, and the other half is very shielded but outdoors. So I get better results than I would do in competition. But as you can see here, it's kind of averaging around about the 250 18x mark, which is excellent. And that's capable of, of winning any competition if you could replicate that under competition conditions. So all in all, this is a um, high quality silencer. It's well finished. It's, it's also, you know, you can adjust this to meet your own needs. You can use less or more modules and you can buy the modules on their own. If you want a little bit more sound suppression or a little bit more weight, you can add a module. So it's all about customizability and it's deadly accuracy, as you can see here. Um, I'm very impressed with this silencer and I already own one of these before Humor sent me this and I have another version of their silencer. Um, this silencer, I have the 40 millimeter version um, which I've had Cerakoted to match in with a new rifle that I'll be showing you in later editions. But until next time guys, you know, get out there and if you need a silencer, I would really consider one of these. Take care and keep living that air gun dream. Bye-bye.